Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and welcome back to Johnny's Flute Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a comparison on four different flutes uh, and these are all in different price ranges and what I really would love is if you weigh in in the comments on which one you prefer. The only thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing these. Um, I will tell you the approximate price for each one um, and then um, the other thing is I'll tell you like what the wood is and things like that. I will not weigh in on any voicing characteristics or anything like that. This is an experiment to see what maybe you prefer out of these and it might surprise you. So let's get into it. Let me set these down and we're going to start. We're going to start here with a Butch Hall flute. Um, this one is, uh, this one was made some time ago. This is in 2008. Um, all of these flutes are in the key of G, okay? Um, this one is, you know, I don't even know the wood of this one. It looks like walnut, uh, maybe with some sap wood, um, but the grain is throwing me off a little bit. Um, so this one, Butch Hall Flutes, um, I bumped this one up a little bit in price because normally the Cedar Concerts uh, come in at around 150 mark. So this one will just say 150 to 200 uh, for this one. Uh, so let me play a little bit and what I'll do at the end here is I'll come in and I'll play each one back to back in the same order so you can get an idea of what they sound like. Here we go. And we're going to be doing these dry. I'm not going to add reverb to these. So there's the Butch Hall one. The next one up is a um, high spirit flute. This one is a little bit older too. Um, the design has changed a little bit away from this little bird and more into like the red tail hawk design uh, that they offer. Um, and this one, as of looking this up, is around $200 uh, today um, in 2022. So here we go, I'll play this for you. Uh, high Spirit Flute. Right, so the next one that I have um, is another little bit of an oddity. Uh, this has some age to it as well. Um, I don't have current flutes to really judge some of the um, pricing off of. This is a singing tree flute, uh, very narrow, very skinny. I said as I wasn't gonna talk about this. This is in the key of G. I believe this wood is koa. Um, the mystery is still out on this one. Uh, but now I, I took a look at Miguel's site and a flute kind of in comparison to this would be somewhere in the range of four or five, maybe 600. It depends, uh, depends on what this wood is and the block design. But I know that some of his kind of entry level concert line uh, flutes are in that price range uh, currently. So here we go.
All right, so let's get on to uh, one of the last ones. All these are in the key of G. Uh, this one is a wood sounds flute. Uh, it is made from, I believe, sassafras. This is the Taos old style um, flute that Brent makes. Um, and it's got a little bit of heft to it. Um, very different in comparison to the singing tree flute, um, just in, in weight and girth as well. So these come in around the five to 600 mark for this key. Um, and let's hear how this one sounds. So now let's hear all of these back to back without this guy talking to interrupt in between. So I'm going to start over and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the butch hall, then the high spirit, then the singing tree, then the wood sounds. And I'm going to be using a feature here where I pause and then you'll see me come back in. Okay, here we go. What you think? There we have four flutes, all in the same key, different flute makers, different woods, different price points. So there couldn't be anything more different about each one of these flutes, different characteristics in their voices, um, different price points depending on your budget, different looks, different designs, all the same key and relatively all the same instrument. I hope that you found this to be helpful and maybe 
I hope it wasn't confusing. Really what we look for is when we talk about the voice of the Native American flute, what sounds good to you? That's really what this is about. What is my preference? But sometimes we move beyond our preference when we are working on a piece of music. It needs something a little bit different than what our preference is. And so anyway, um, I really appreciate you tuning in. By the way, if you're a flute player who wants to get more out of your flute journey and you need a little bit more support to learn and grow as a flute player, um, I would love to work with you. I would love to help you along your journey. We have a platform called Horizons where you'll get access to courses, lesson modules, all sorts of things uh, surrounding the Native American flute to help you learn and grow and do things that you really want to accomplish in your flute journey. Friends, thanks for tuning in. Please consider subscribing. I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Bye-bye. Hi friends, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're looking to grow as a flute player and achieve more in your flute journey, click below. If you're looking for more videos like this, see the playlist in the corner. And lastly, please consider subscribing so you're among the first to know when new videos drop. Thanks again, see you soon.